Hello all, welcome to another quick learning. Today I'm going back to Code Signal to work on the Python coding exercises. If you have if you're joining this uh, in the middle of the playlist, I'll go ahead and put a link in the description so you can start with the first video if you like. Otherwise, I'm going to go ahead and get started. So I'm going to the arcade and I'm going to go to Python. And we already did uh, the collections truthness. Now we're going to look at efficient comparison. So you'd like to write a function that takes integer numbers x, y, l, and r as parameters and returns true if x to the, to the y lies in the interval l, r, uh, inclusive, and false otherwise. You're considering several ways to write a conditional statement inside this function. So it gives you three different options here, and it asks you what's the most efficient in terms of execution time. So these all do the same thing, actually. So if you see this, this is uh, x to the y power here. This two uh, asterisks uh, is to the power is greater than l and less than or equal to r. And then here they just split it out. x to the y power is greater than l and x to the y is less than or equal to r. And here they do x to the y and they check if it's in this range of L plus 1 to R plus 1. So it's not including L because it's adding 1. It is including R because the range will create uh, up to but not including the last number. That's why you have to put the plus 1. So it turns out that option 1 is the most optimal. And it if you look at 1 versus 2, you can see that this one's just a little bit more efficient because you're doing this calculation, then you're doing this calculation, and then you're doing the comparison. Whereas here, you're just doing this calculation, and then you're comparing it to L and R. So this one's uh, more efficient than the second one. And the first one's a little bit more efficient than the third one as well uh, because it takes a lot of time, for, or I shouldn't say a lot of time, we're talking about uh, microseconds here, uh, but it takes time to create this range of values from L to R, and it depends how big L and R are, so if the, the difference between L and R becomes very large, then it'll increase the amount of time that it takes for this to run. The in comparison is actually fairly quick, but it doesn't uh, help uh, that you have to do this, uh, this range creation. So number one is the most optimal for this situation. All right, I hope you guys were able to follow along with that one, and I hope you guys uh, follow me for the next videos. Thank you very much.